Okay, hopefully this will be a quick and an obviously dirty demonstration of anodizing titanium. Uh, I've got a AC to DC converter here with a dial that goes from 0 to 100 that represents 0 to 100 percent of the input voltage. Input voltage should be around 120 volts, so in theory this should give me 0 to 120 volts DC. I've never bothered to confirm that. Uh, this dirty beaker here has water and ammonium sulfate in it. Originally it was a 20% by volume add of ammonium sulfate, but this beaker <laughs> is a few years old and who knows what the concentration is now. But I think it'll still work. So. First, I'm going to grab a little titanium clip here. I don't know if the camera shows that. And I've got the supply set at about 20 volts. I'm going to stick this clip in the beaker, turn it on, and in no time, I don't know if you can tell, but we've got a, a blue color now in the titanium. The anodized bath caused the oxide film on the titanium to grow in thickness and variable thickness will give you different colors in titanium. Now, the next thing I want to anodize is the flashlight here. This is all titanium, all metal exposed to titanium, so it should anodize with no issue. It's loaded with a battery. Uh, this particular light is a UV light that I just built and I want to identify it obviously by a color distinction so that I don't pick it up thinking it's a white LED light. So I'm going to connect it to the anode. I've got a pretty bad connection here between the clip and the titanium clip that gets submerged. Now with the light in, I suppose I should turn it on I don't know if you can see the, the UV beam. Well, maybe you can't. All right, I'm going to crank this up, and it's going to take a while. You can see a lot of bubbles. A lot of metal surface here. Well, I don't know how well the camera shows, but we've got sort of a a violet color now, which is what I was after. I'm going to turn the power supply off. I think I'll turn the light off so I can drip it out. So here, presumably you can see the dark anodized light. Now if there was any metal on this that was not titanium, you would have seen a lot of bubbles fizzing in the bath and the titanium itself would not have grown an oxide film the way you want it to. It's a real quick and dirty way to determine if metal is titanium to subject it to an anodized bath. I once tested a rudder shaft on a Santa Cruz 70 sailboat by using some Coca-Cola, a throwaway paintbrush, and a 12-volt car battery. And you can see the UV on the white there. Well, that ends that real simple demonstration, I think. So I'm going to turn the camera off.